I am horribly, horribly hungry right now, which is a good thing because I have created some brand new bread recipes that are insanely viral inside Minecraft and I want to show you guys, but in order for me to show you, I need you to be subscribed. So go down and see if that subscribe button is red right now. Go ahead and turn it gray. Look, you can always unsubscribe later if you want to, guys. So help me out. Let's jump into it. I have got some brand new bread recipes. And just because I need food right this second, let's just get this first one up and running. We're going to take a steak and kind of like a meatloaf type of thing. We're going to surround that steak with bread and get ourselves some breaded steak. This looks delicious. This breaded steak can heal your hunger incredibly. Twice the ability of steak, full hunger bars from that one breaded steak. But the other thing we can actually do with the breaded steak is as you can see, we're disguising the steak with bread. And what animal in Minecraft drops steak? Not a very hard trivia question, of course the cow. Now the thing about animals in general is you never feed them their own meat. It's very, very, very dangerous. But I said, hey, why don't we try and feed the breaded steak to the cow? And it instantly nukes him and it said that didn't taste right. But we're still able to get the steak from the cow. We can, <laughs> let's make another one, one more really fast. Okay, I'm really sorry to the cow, but we got two steaks from that other one so i want to get another another two steaks hey come here looks so tasty he even turns he wants it he wants it or at least he thinks he does feed it to him and just <laughs> that didn't taste right instantly down the breaded steak great for you not so great for the cow the next food i want to show you is going to be better if we can get to a village though so let's do a quick journey across the lands and find ourselves inside of a village Woo! Okay, yes, we did it. And I also managed to grab some emeralds along the way. And we need these. There's villagers out here, right? Okay, we find the first empty village ever in Minecraft. We've got some villagers out here and we got the emeralds in our inventory. And we got our crafting table, which we're gonna use in order to craft ourselves some emerald bread. And the reason we wanna be in the village is because we can actually use the emerald bread to fill up the villagers. Now, of course we can eat the emerald bread, but better than eating it is find a villager who's hungry and fill him with emeralds. Watch. Feeds him. And then I'm so full of emeralds and he drops an emerald under... Wait. It took me four emeralds to be able to craft the bread. What do you mean you're full of emeralds? He dropped me one emerald. I gave him four. Although we did not find the most success feeding emeralds to villagers, we can, however, still use this location because there was a gorgeous ravine here and we can get this iron pickaxe and mine this gold up, which we're going to use in that furnace in order to get the gold ingots because the next piece of bread we're crafting is possibly the richest bread ever crafted. And there we have 10 gold ingots. And we want to, instead of surrounding the gold with the bread, we're gonna take the gold and surround the bread with the gold. And that's going to give us our golden bread. Now this thing, we don't wanna feed this to cows. We don't wanna feed it to villagers. None of that shenanigans. We're gonna take this thing down ourselves and watch how juicy this loaf of bread is. All we gotta do is eat it and we get our hunger filled and then we also get 30 absorption hearts from that one piece of bread. I heard some mobs around here somewhere. I wanna see if we can quickly find them somewhere back here. Oh, there we go. Okay, go ahead, bring it, buddy. What you got? Anything? Barely, barely. Sayonara, bye-bye. Easy does it. Only thing is I gotta get back to my gold so I can craft another piece of bread. Got more gold, got more gold. And just to have one on hand, let's get the absorption in. Actually, I'm super curious if this is stackable right now. Will we get more than 30 absorption hearts? <laughs> No, nope, it just resets us to 30. Something fun that we can do with this viral bread though is actually attach it to a fishing pole. And the way that we're gonna do that is incredibly simple. We're gonna go with the basic fishing pole layout, but then we're going to put a piece of bread on the end and we get bread on a pole. Now we can go into the water with this bread on a pole, cast it out, and we gotta wait patiently, but the salmon are attracted to the bread on the pole. There we go. Boom, juice. And we caught the salmon, except this salmon's slightly larger. In fact, it is a pregnant salmon. And we can go back to our crafting table with the pregnant salmon. I wonder if we can actually eat it. Can we eat the pregnant salmon? Not recommended, do not try in real life. Here we go. We can eat the pregnant salmon. 
That is hilarious. That is not the point though. We don't want to eat the pregnant salmon. Let's go catch another one. What we really want to do is cut the salmon belly open and get out what's inside the pregnant salmon. Oh, and this one's faster than the other one. Boom! Go into the crafting table and we can cut open the pregnant salmon and get ourselves a salmon spawn egg. We can take it down and I mean, it's just kind of neat. We just can plop it back in there. Come here. Easy does it. There we go. And then we can get ourselves some salmon just like that. So it's kind of a roundabout way, but we do get to see the birthing process, which is, I don't know, pretty interesting. For our next recipe, though, I need these planks back. I do, I do, I do. I need these planks back. So we got to craft ourselves some pickaxes, guys. Let's craft ourselves four stone pickaxes. We already have one, but we'll save that one and get these four extras. And then in the crafting table, we're going to put a stone pickaxe in each corner. And then we're going to place a bread in the center. Like we're shoving those pickaxes into this loaf of bread. And look at that thing. It does look like it's just been shoved down in the center. It's kind of hard to see. We get pickaxe bread though. To be totally honest with you, it seems like it's just not something you should ever eat. And it is a very, very, very tough piece of bread as I'm about to show you. Let's see if I can catch this waterfall on the way down. Oh, there, that's easy. Boom, all the way down. When we eat this piece of bread, we can actually create a pickaxe-like effect to all blocks around us. Here we are in the middle at the very bottom, eat the bread, and then boom, everything just explodes and drops all of the blocks. Look how fast we can mine with this thing. Easy. All of that XP, just keep eating the bread over and over again. As long as we're hungry, we can take a bite and then we can go down. Really, the true danger is eating this too close to bedrock because if you do that, then I have a feeling it might send you right through the bedrock. But that gave us a lot of blocks very quickly. And this bread will last you forever. You never have to worry about the bread ever leaving. It's always gonna be here. We also found some gold. Not that we didn't have plenty of that already. I actually hear some lava on the other side of this, guys. Should we munch this bread? I think it's right over here. Let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one. No lava yet. Oh, oh my gosh. Look how close we were. It, it broke right up vertically along here. The lava was literally right here. So close to us breaking the lava out. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got more bread recipes we need to cover. Now I have brought us up here into the snowy mountains because I want to show you just how powerful this next piece of bread is. Of course, you've got to heat all bread in order to cook it so it's ready to eat, but we can actually heat this bread even further by surrounding it with coal. Now, the sweet thing about the heated bread, pay close attention to the gold ore that we got earlier, the iron ore, and some of those steaks that we got from feeding cows to cows. When we eat this bread, it's going to actually heat us up and instantly all of that ore turned to ingots. Now, the problem I'm realizing now is that it all turned into one ingot. We lost a lot of gold there. So the better way to do this, guys, is actually take your ore, separate it out a little bit. As you can see, I've done here, iron ore there, iron ore there. Inventory's a little shot right now, but that's okay. Now we can eat this bread and each of these should turn directly just like that into iron ingots. And the chat lets us know we've been heated up. This one turned into iron ingot. That one also turned into an iron ingot. And we can store all of these iron ingots just fine now. So before you eat the bread, make sure that you spread out the ore. And it's a little bit faster than the furnace. Works with steak, gold, chicken, anything that's uncooked or unsmelted. We can just eat the bread and instantly it gets smelted or cooked. Another neat effect that I usually don't recommend because you never want to eat soggy bread, but in this case, we're going to do it just because it's a pretty sweet recipe. Grab the soggy bread by putting bread and basically just pouring water over the top of it. And when we eat the soggy bread, we're actually going to gain water breathing and swim speed in the water. So we basically become a fish. Now, this isn't a very huge body of water for us to be swimming around in, but you can see the effect on hand. Total water breathing, and we also have Dolphin's Grace 5, so we can swim insanely fast. All we've got to do is make ourselves some soggy bread. We can even, before we get going, take our bucket back out, fill that up, and make ourselves another piece of soggy bread there. And then actually using the same bucket, we can just do it again. So if we ever run into a huge body of water, we'll have that soggy bread on hand. Now enough of the utility though. I wanna quickly grab some shears because we can actually get mobs to come to us using bait bread. Let's quickly get some leaves from up here because we need lots of them, we need lots of them, we need lots of them. And let's actually disguise this bread in the leaves. And we can lay this bread out 
for mobs to find. Just go over here, find an opening, and place the bread down. And as the bread is placed down, mobs will start spawning around the bread. Look at all these mobs. Sheep, 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 cows. And they're just multiplying constantly, constantly. And we can just go up and get them down. Come here. Bye, bye, buddy. Thank you. Oh, missed you. There you are. And they will just keep coming as long as we have the bread placed down which is so tiny where did i put it i lost track of it maybe one of the animals ate it they finally got their hands on it and they ate it i should have stood by to protect it but if you need some food lay down a bait bread and you can just get all the animals to spawn right next to you now i am incredibly hungry now which is perfectly fine because this next recipe is the one i'm most excited for and i want to do it over and over and over again let's go quickly so we don't get nuked here we're gonna drop one bread in and shove a diamond inside of it and get ourselves diamond bread now we can munch this diamond bread down and it says get to the bathroom quick and we don't have a bathroom nearby so we just happen to digest that diamond very fast but instead of coming back out as one it was compressed inside of our intestinal tract and we get two diamonds in return so we can go back into the crafting table place two breads in there put the two diamonds in there get both diamond breads munch them again and we can digest the diamond real fast one more time and instantly boop, pop out a diamond we can quickly eat one more bread down wait for those two more diamonds to come out and we just turn that one diamond into four diamonds about that quick hop in the crafting table and we could place ourselves a diamond pickaxe and even have a diamond left over to get another piece of bread. And we can start the process all over again from the top. Just gotta digest it. A lot of digesting going on here. Let me know which bread recipe is your guys' favorite. I mean, if you can handle the digestion, diamond bread is pretty sweet bread.